Joseph Momo Conte, a high school dropout, washes the bike he uses in his work as a motorcycle taxi man. I can collect about $10 a day for my boss. I have to buy fuel and other things. It's just for survival that I'm doing this. Conte says he would rather be in school but does not have the money to continue. He also became frustrated when he did not pass his college entrance exam on the first try. For now, he takes passengers to their destinations. He must pay the owner of the bike a percentage of what he earns. He says he sees little future for himself in this work. Across Sierra Leone, young men and women like Conte are studying to pass college entrance exams. If they pass, they have a better chance to go on to university and compete for the few good paying jobs. Otherwise, many end up in jobs like driving motorcycle taxis or with no work at all. Mamadou Sisse is the principal of St. Francis Secondary School in McKinney. He gives his reaction to Sierra Leone's college entrance exam results. If you look at the results, especially this year, the whole country, to me, I can describe them as a horror. It means we have to go back to the board and find a solution. And for those who drop out because they don't have the money for school fees, Sise says they shouldn't have expected education to be free. You cannot be educated without money. It is the most unfortunate part. Conte will carry about 25 passengers on this day. He drops this woman off at a school where he says he would have liked to have been a student. I'm not too comfortable. But how to do? I just still have to the money. And I won. I don't feel comfortable in life. But what can I do? I'm stressed by lack of money, first of all. And also the dust when I drive affects my eyes. But if I didn't do this job, what would I do? Many motorcycle taxi men were rebel fighters in the Civil War. Whether they fought or not, they're often looked down on and called thugs by the community. Some act accordingly. Conte says he does not want this to be his future. Carrie Barber, for VOA News, McKinney, Sierra Leone.